What's Gucci squad? What's Gucci family? Young Don Mega back with another story time, man. I hope whoever's watching is having a good day. Matter of fact, a good month, man. I hope y'all living and loving living. And if you're not, then change something today that will set you forward in the future. I love y'all. But to get into the story, today I'm going to be talking about another crazy but radically fun acid trip. To start off, I had to walk about 20 to 30 minutes to go pick it up. So I do that, and on my way back home, I get a call from my uncle telling me not to forget about the vet appointment we have for my kitten today. And instantly I got a gut-wrenching feeling, and I knew I had to make a choice at that very moment. Either take the tabs after, or take them now before the vet trip. So I finish up the phone call and assure him that I won't forget about the appointment, which I did forget about it, but I'm glad he called and reminded me. It is what it is, right? I get off the phone and I'm arriving home. I say what's up to my cousin, then go to my room and decided I wanted to smoke a blunt while waiting. So <clears throat> I get to rolling the blunt and in the process, I decided to take the tab before I even lit the blunt. So I, I, in my mind, I was like, I'm going to let the effects of my high from the weed sit in with the trip so I can I could trip even more. I know, right? Really smart to do. <laughs> but especially before vet trip, right? I was out of my mind, but it's fun to look back at these situations now. I get done smoking the blunt and was overall fried as hell, sitting there watching YouTube. And next thing you know, my uncle gets home <clears throat> and it's time to go to the appointment. He gives me about a 20 minute notice, so in those 20 minutes I was kind of freaking out thinking it will hit me right when I'm in the car, or will it hit me right when I get there. But guess what, in the process of me hearing my uncle say, hey, it's time to go, it hit me right when I got up to go to, like right when I got up to go twist my doorknob, that shit hit me. To say the least, I was getting kind of confused on why I even went out my door for a second. And then I felt even more fried than I ever have before. Like, I felt young bull, young bull fried. Like, I felt my body felt super light, all that. Like, almost as if I could float away. I remember thinking that I was going to float away. I was on some fucked up shit in my head, man. I was so fried and fucked and high, man. But anyway, <clears throat> I get into the van and we start on our way to the vet. And my uncle was trying to have a conversation with me. And I remember staring at the door mirror and seeing myself in the mirror trip me out. So I tried to focus on the conversation more, but ended up getting even more lost. But this whole time, my kitten is on my lap in a cage meowing. And I'm trying to calm her down as well. Overall, I was being overwhelmed as it is. And the acid made it 20 times more overwhelming. But we arrived to the vet. I remember getting out and following my uncle, and as we were going into the vet, people were coming out and told them their dog looked nice. Don't know these people at all. I said it out of nowhere. The people didn't even respond to me. They kind of just shook it off and kept walking, so I don't know. Maybe I had shit on my face. I have no idea, but they didn't take it nice. I don't care what I looked like. You could have at least said thank you, but uh, nah, but... I, got, I probably looked fucked up. I have no idea what my facial expression was like, but I probably maybe even sounded crazy at the time. I have no idea, but <clears throat> they don't respond. We go into the vet, and I thought we were going just to get my cat checked up on, but ended up needing some shots and some eye go uh, some like eye gaze, s some stuff to put on their, her eyes because she had a little bit of an eye infection, but we ended up getting that fixed, but it's all right, man. Because she had something wrong with her eye, and they wanted the shot to steer clear of worms. I remember being a little, like, edgy about John, but why would I want my cat to even risk having worms? So, of course, me and my uncle made the decision to allow that to happen. I remember the shot being almost traumatizing to watch because I was tripping, so it just felt so uncomfortable. And in my mind at the time, it was almost like right when my cat got the shot, I felt like it was... Like, I felt like I got the shot as well and let out a little ouch in the office and got a weird look out of my uncle and the veterinarians on everything. <laughs> After the shots that my cat got, 
and we got the eye gaze and stuff. Me and my uncle went back home. Overall, it wasn't the worst experience. I ended up getting back home at a decent time and ended up having a nice rest of my day. I spent it tripped out, smoking, re-watching Goodfellas, which I suggest to whoever's watching, if you haven't seen Goodfellas after this video, go watch it. It's amazing. It's like it, it's one of my favorite movies of all time, but that's it, family. I hope y'all enjoyed this story time and many more to come, many more bangers and reactions to come, and many more product reviews to come, man. Much love to y'all. Young Don Mega out.